Hello everyone, Gebatron here. Hell Let Loose is currently on sale for 25% off on Steam until October 26th, so I thought it would be an excellent time to cover a question that comes up a lot about the game. That question is, do I need a microphone to play Hell Let Loose? To me, this question always sounded technical in nature, so I would answer it by saying something like, No, you do not need a microphone to play Hell Let Loose. You can purchase the game on Steam, install it, run and play the game all without a microphone. But I don't think that's what people are looking for when they ask this question. As such, I think better questions to ask would sound something like, Will using a microphone in Hell Let Loose make for a better experience in game? Or, will using a microphone help me be a better teammate? Or even, will using a microphone help improve my performance? To these questions, the answer is yes, absolutely. In this video, we are going to discuss community factors, what communicating is like with and without a mic, some less obvious benefits to having a microphone, and then we'll do a final analysis. First, let's talk about the community. Hell Let Loose has an excellent community. This is actually one of the reasons I started this channel. This community is also competitive and takes the game pretty seriously. While there are no restrictions on the official servers, a large portion of the community servers have rules against players taking officer roles if they don't have a mic, and the community servers are typically far more active than the official servers. On top of that, some players who tend to play the officer roles more often than not will, on occasion, kick players from their squads for not having mics, especially if playing armor. While I don't personally condone this behavior for reasons I go into in the video at the top right hand corner, I do understand why it's happening, especially in the case of armor squads. On top of this, there are some changes coming in update 8 relating to unit designation. Squad leaders will now be able to mark their squads as VoIP only squads. Here is the excerpt from DevBrief98 saying, by toggling this, you will be indicating to players who join the unit that they are expected to use a microphone. While I believe you can still join without a mic, it will give the officers all that much more incentive to kick you. Now what I'm about to say is speculation, but I predict that it will get harder to join good squads going forward. Now let's talk about ways to communicate in the game without a mic. The options are limited, but can be effective. First, officers are able to leave marks on the map. I've made a playlist of guides to this system and I'll link it in the description below, but you will be able to direct your squad slash team using these marks. There are marks for movement, enemy activity, support assets, and structures. They work pretty well, but a problem here is that sometimes these marks can get lost or ignored by players in the heat of battle. The other way is through text chat. As seen here on the screen, there are two different ways to use text chat. You can text chat the whole team using the K key, or just your own squad by using the L key. Text chat appears at the top left of the screen and can be hidden or made to reappear again by pressing the O key. Text chat has some drawbacks. It requires extra keystrokes to use, which can be distracting, especially in combat. This means you may miss important information or be delayed in communicating important information. It also obscures the screen. It's this reason that a lot of players simply hit the O button so they don't even have to deal with it, meaning that your info isn't being seen by a portion of the team. And lastly, it's just slower compared to voice chat. By the time you typed out your message, it may be too late. So while there are some ways to communicate in Hell Let Loose without a mic, there are some definite drawbacks to these methods. Let's move on to voice chat. There are three different ways to use voice chat or VoIP. First is leadership or officer's VoIP. By holding the X key while speaking, you can communicate and coordinate with all other officers in the game at any distance. Next is unit VoIP. By holding the C key while speaking, you will be able to communicate with your squad at any distance. And lastly, there is proximity VoIP, which lets you communicate with any player or players within 50 meters of you by holding the V key while speaking. Perfect for when asking for a revive or repairs or letting members of other squads know about enemy activity. VoIP has some definite advantages over text chat, the major one being the speed and accuracy you are able to convey information. Another being you can be slightly more specific with who gets that information. It's simply easier to use and more effective than using text chat. You can call attention to your marks, direct your squad, team, etc., all while not being distracted by having to type it out. 
Let's move on and talk about some less obvious benefits to getting a headset and mic. First is you will simply be able to use it in other games. If you find yourself liking Hell Let Loose, then there is a good chance that there are similar games out there you will also enjoy and be able to use your mic with. Not only that, but you can use it for music and movies, all while not being loud and distracting to roommates or family. Second, and what I think is one of the biggest advantages, is you will be able to experience surround sound. Chances are that if you already have an expensive surround sound setup, then you really aren't on the fence about whether to get a mic or not, as you can probably already afford it. If you are on the fence, then maybe your current sound solution isn't ideal. Perhaps you're only running dual channel stereo or something like that. Most headsets on the market come capable of either 5 or 7 channel surround. This means that it will not only increase the quality of sound you experience, but also be easier for you to detect and differentiate the direction that sound is coming from. This can be an advantage in Hell Let Loose and is often overlooked. So let's answer our questions. Do you need a mic to play Hell Let Loose? No. Will having a mic make for a better experience? Yes. Communicating is part of the fun. Embrace it. Will using a mic make me a better teammate? Most likely yes. Quickly and accurately communicating information will help your team on the road to victory. Will using a headset and mic help increase my performance? Most likely, yes. Being able to speak with your squad slash team will put you and them in more advantageous positions quicker, and being able to hear which direction threats are coming from will help you react to the battlefield. So what's my final analysis? Using a mic in Hell Let Loose will absolutely be a benefit to you as well as others. If you can afford one, get one right away. If you can't afford one, that's fine too. No one here is judging anyone's financial situation. It's still worth picking up the game in my opinion, but I do recommend you start putting away a little money to be able to get one sooner rather than later. Now I'm not going to recommend any specific microphone headset combination and I want to be clear that this is not a sponsored video. There aren't even any affiliate links in the description. I would love one to get you guys a better deal, but right now my channel is too small, so be sure to subscribe. I will tell you guys that I personally use a Corsair Void Pro and I love it. It's comfortable and it comes with very useful and easy to use software. So maybe look at them if you're looking to buy, but you'll have to do some shopping around and find your own best deals. Well, that's about all I have to say about that. I hope you found that helpful or insightful. Do you have any advice or recommendations? If so, please leave a comment. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more Hell Let Loose content. There will be links to other videos in the description below, as well as a PayPal link if you'd like to support this channel directly. Thank you all for your continuing support, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.